While watching some old Gary Gensler movies earlier today, I came across some very amazing bits. I think it will surprise you guys to see a different Gary Gensler in this video, one who is much more optimistic about the Bitcoin industry. I want to talk about something in this video that isn't often discussed, namely whether Gary Gensler is actually trying to destroy the cryptocurrency industry or if he simply wants control over it. I'll show you a couple of startling discoveries I made earlier today that will give you a completely new perspective on Gary Gensler. It's also crucial to note that I am not at all defending him in this. I detest what he has done thus far in his position. Guys, towards the end of this video I also want to talk about the library versus SEC issue since it appears that we will receive a ruling on this case at some point this week, most likely sooner rather than later. But I think you might be doing it for a different purpose than many people believe. And this case will have a significant impact on the ongoing SEC Ripple case. Guys, this is going to be really crucial to how the Ripple SEC case resolves, so I want to show you exactly what I think is going to happen in this video and what I see emerging. As usual, if you're new to my channel or call me frequently, kindly take a moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. It significantly contributes to the expansion of this channel. I advise using SimpleSwap to buy XRP in the USA without having to register and in full compliance with the law, link in the description. The simplest and safest method to buy and hold XRP is through SimpleSwap. Additionally, you can exchange it whenever you wish for any other cash. Due to its reduced fees compared to all other major exchanges, you will be able to acquire more XRP from it than from other exchanges. Additionally, you can sell cryptocurrency to your bank account directly, something that is no longer available on Binance for a number of nations. Link is provided in the summary. Once more, this will reveal to you the current biggest problem with our banking system and a significant factor in the financial market's high volatility. After playing you this video, I'll briefly explain how I believe it will affect the price of XRP. Guys, what I'm about to show you might surprise you, but I also think it will help you understand what we are currently witnessing. You don't fully comprehend the concept of banking, in my opinion. Santander, Deutsche Bank, and the Royal Bank of Scotland are all insolvent banks. And why are they broke if it's not a divine intervention? We have a system called fractional reserve banking, which allows banks to lend money that they don't actually have, thus the event wasn't some type of tsunami. It's been way too long, and it's a criminal disgrace. To make matters worse, you have moral hazard, and it comes from politics, which is a very big moral hazard. And since central banks and politics are both aspects of the same political system, most issues begin there. We have counterfeiting, which is also referred to as quantitative easing occasionally. However, counterfeiting by any other name, the artificial printing of money, would land a regular person in jail for a very long period. Nevertheless, governments and central banks frequently engage in it. We don't have the true cost of money since central banks have suppressed the amount of interest that rate rates are. And yet, we hold the genuine retail banks accountable for LIBOR manipulation. This is incredibly offensive in its sheer scope. The manipulation of interest rates is done by central banks, commissioner. Additionally, we discuss deposit guarantees in a loose, somewhat cavalier manner below all of this. Therefore, when banks default due to their own negligence and deceit, the taxpayer foots the bill, which constitutes theft from the taxpayer. And it will keep happening until we start locking up bankers, including central bankers and politicians, for this outrage. So, folks, even if you didn't comprehend a word he just said, it's still vital to realize that our financial system is outmoded and possibly built on some premises that don't actually hold up. Our market has experienced a lot of instability as a result, and many things aren't operating as they were first intended to. And many others claim that this will cause all markets to completely collapse, that everything will go to nothing, and that everything will fall off a cliff. And I simply want to let you guys know that many assets now in existence won't be impacted by this. Many of these issues are resolved by solutions like XRP. Therefore, it is illogical for this to suddenly drop to zero and remain there. Possibly a flash crash will occur. Of course, given how fleeting that would be. 
because XRP finally provides solutions to every issue raised in this video. And if you simply look at the market price of XRP right now, it is almost the same as it was in 2017. This item is currently undervalued in the market and has very little room to even decline further. It is valued at incredibly low levels. So, should you wait for something similar to happen in order for that black swan to happen? You are free to do so, but doing so could result in you missing out on a fantastic chance to acquire XRP. XRP is currently significantly undervalued, and it offers solutions to every issue raised in this video. Just because there's a lot of dread going around, I want to bring something up. And there are many people waiting for the ideal moment to arise. In most cases, it is preferable to merely average and over time, if this opportunity arises, load the boat. However, in the interim, I don't believe you should hold out for the ideal moment. Because XRP will ultimately be the solution to all of these issues. And gentlemen, you don't want to be late when it does because I want to briefly talk about a very amazing Gary Gensler interview that I recently discovered in which he was actually on stage with Hester Peirce. And guys, he says a lot of unexpected stuff in this interview. Because they don't sound like the Gary Dancer we are used with, they were shocking. I wish to draw attention to a few points. Since listening to Gary Gensler's talk kind of makes me sick, I won't actually play the clips for you guys, but I will discuss some of the extremely fascinating things he stated. First of all, he claimed in this film that he has not come across any ICOs that are not securities. Watch the way he pronounced initial coin offers. This is in sharp contrast to his current assertion that there aren't many crypto coins that aren't securities. So, right here, we can observe a crucial change in what Gary Gensler believes to be a security. At the time, he believed initial coin offerings or the sale of the token itself to be securities. I totally agree that initial coin offerings should be considered securities, however a cryptocurrency is not a security. This is what I also believe. Where did we go wrong in this answer, then? Why at that time? Was what he was saying coherent? And right now, he's making statements that are wholly improbable. In this interview, he added that if a coin has utility, it probably isn't a security. However, as of late, he hasn't said anything along such lines and has instead stated that all cryptocurrencies are securities, so where was the divergence? And before I discuss this, I want to show you something else. In this interview, you also mentioned that Congress would need to become engaged for exchanges to be designated to the SEC or CFTC. Guys, Gary Gensler is not saying that at all right now. Today, he claims that there is no question regarding the requirement for all exchanges to register with the SEC. So what has Gary Gensler done differently? At the time Gary Gensler conducted this interview, he was unaware that he would soon join the SEC and believed it made little difference whether the SEC or the CFTC controlled cryptocurrencies. All he wanted was for it to be regulated. Guys, I concur that it doesn't really matter if the CFTC or SEC oversees cryptocurrency regulation. The SEC has, in my perspective, been exceedingly antagonistic. I thus don't want them to attempt to end crypto. It doesn't matter, though, if they're going to govern it sensibly. I only demand unambiguous rules. To suggest that some cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, are one thing and other cryptocurrencies, such as XRP, are another, is absurd, but that is a very separate problem. All I need is regulatory certainty. Irrespective of who is in charge of regulation, the SEC shouldn't act in a bullying manner. But it's crucial to understand that Gary Gensler didn't believe it was obvious at the time that these coins were securities, and you didn't either. You believed it was clear enough that neither the SEC nor the CFTC could assume control of this market without congressional authorization. The most crucial lesson to learn from all of this, in my opinion, is that Gary Gensler probably doesn't want to destroy cryptocurrency. Instead, he probably wants control over it. In an effort to take command of this market, he must engage in dirty play since he is aware that the CFTC will receive authority from Congress. He will therefore do every effort to attempt and get control of this market in a new manner. Guys, there won't be a clear way to accomplish it. 
I believe this is the reason Gary Delser is acting in such a ridiculous manner. I believe he is aware of his inappropriate behavior. He may be aware that what he's saying is absurd. However, I believe that his attempt to bring this industry up in his jurist question is a last-ditch Hail Mary. Gary Dancer would likely be arguing that Bitcoin is a security right now if the SEC had never made a point of saying it isn't, and not because he actually believes it is, rather, it's because he wants control of it. Guys, I just wanted to give you this perspective because even if many of these cryptocurrencies do go to the SEC, I certainly don't think XRP will because I think they already have this case in the bag. If Gary Gensler were at the CFTC today, I believe he would say all these different currencies or commodities, regardless, though, I think. I don't believe it will be the end of some of your favorite other cryptocurrencies, however, even if they do end up being investigated by the SEC. Whether Gary Gensler does it as a bully or not, we'll have to wait and watch. But I do believe he will figure out how to make this market function. But I believe that this is a power issue. It's not my opinion that crypto is being killed. So, gentlemen, to wrap off this video, I want to quickly discuss the Library v. SEC issue since Jerry Hogan did state that the ruling should be announced this week. Guys, this is going to be massive. I've actually accumulated libraries without even realizing it, and I now firmly believe that it shouldn't be a security. I didn't even aware I had burned library until I uploaded my channel to Odyssey, a site powered by the library token. Then how is that a security? It is clear that the SEC is making this claim because they want control over it. But gentlemen, because the judge is elderly, I have my doubts about whether or not he will side with the library. He appears to be ignorant of cryptocurrency. But the fact that the choice is taking so long is unquestionably encouraging since it implies that the person has either given the matter careful consideration or is simply being lazy, which would obviously be terrible. But in any event, if Library wins this case, folks, that would be a major blow to the SEC because Library did not invest nearly as much money as Ripple did in their case, and I think that might bring the SEC to its knees. I wouldn't be too surprised, to be honest, if the SEC lets this lawsuit go all the way to trial, they must be a bit concerned they're going to lose, and, if they do, they'll lose all control over cryptocurrency. I believe they'd be far better off with a settlement, but it appears they're going to let this one go at this point. As I previously stated, I wish Rippling had given Library a little assistance by giving him some money to ensure their arguments were strong. Thus, Ripple might possibly achieve a victory prior than their own. But let's watch how this goes, guys. This case will be very significant. The crypto community is in for a big week as everyone's attention is focused on the library case. See whether we receive a decision or if they choose to settle. I'm sure you guys will find it fascinating, but in any case, I appreciate you reading my update. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And for now, guys.